Pepsi. So the night trucking came around fast this week. Feels like it was only a couple of days ago, Kappa. <laughs> ATS is properly broken, CFPS. Why? First thing to do is verify the integrity of the game cache on Steam. Try that. After that, turn all your mods off. It should work fine. Welcome back. Who put speed bumps on a bend? Come on. Hey. Hi, guys. We'll just pretend like nothing happened. Slowly drives away. At least the trailer's not damaged. Just watching that replay, <laughs> just like him bouncing around the corner and just landed on the line. Like, hey, <laughs> that was actually funny. That's a good replay. All I want to do is rest, you see, it's because my driver's tired. We're making mistakes now. My driver wants to sleep in his day cab. Hey. Why would they stand there? That's just insanity. It should be Mad Max. <laughs> There's a fuel station down here, but I don't think they actually have a rest point on it. Welcome to Mexico, Senor Squirrel. We have no rest stops here. And you have no sleeper cab. Let's just double check it. Bob Ross, can I have some frames, please? Arr! Have a look. Nah, it doesn't like a rest area. I mean, just, why can't you pull over and just rest? It's so dumb. Like, you have to sleep in specific places. It's just... Why? Nine p.m. We're gonna play this game one frame at a time. It doesn't actually matter if you have a sleeper cab. Not in this game. How do you not have a sleeper? I didn't configure a sleeper because I didn't want a really long truck. Given that we're driving in some dodgy places in Mexico. Which was neatly proved when I went and drove into a quarry. Look at the frames. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's the route? From somewhere down in Durango Quarry all the way up to California. From Mexico to 
the nice United States, it's a heck of a journey. And if we're lucky, I'll actually get paid for it. <laughs> Bella Villain, thank you for a year anniversary, sir. When I first subscribed, I had a lower back injury that caused my hands and legs to feel numb and weak. Couldn't do a lot of what I loved. You gave me something to look forward to. Thank you so much. Here's to many more. Dude, thank you for that. Enjoy your goal, Cap. I'm glad things are, uh, are better for you. Nice to hear that. Why is this part of the map so bad? Well, x -Carl, if somebody creates a badly optimised map, there's not a great deal you can do, right? What do I think of Croatia now? What do you mean? do I think of them? What's changed? Wow, this is like a slideshow. What's going on here? Are we in Barcelona? It felt like it. It felt like this in Bar... This is insane. Look at that. What if it's that part of Durango again that was broken last time? Let's see if there's a rest point here. There you go. We'll go and get the truck repaired as well. I think it's Durango that's the problem. Last time I came into Durango, the frame rates were bad then as well. Once we make it out of Durango, I think we'll be okay again. Uh, Sean Windwick, welcome Sean, thank you for your sub. Thank you for the nutty welcome guys, appreciate that. Look at that. What is the engine doing? It's even rendering the indicator speed like irregularly. The high beams are on, are they? I don't think they are. I might try restarting it over here just to see if it flushes this problem out, whatever it is. Oh my god! <laughs> that is terrible! Right, I'm just going to give it a quick reboot. I don't think it'll improve things until we get out of Durango, but I'm going to try it because it's a fairly simple, painless thing to try. Maybe the game's scared. It may be. I can't handle this amazing route that you're doing, Squirrel. I can't draw the frames anymore.
Get used up all the frames in the quarry. Okay. It's still a bit chunky, but it's a lot better than it was. Look at that. I, I got a feeling that we drove through something that just caused like a weird memory leak, maybe. It's better. It's almost drivable. supposed to turn around. How exactly are we supposed to turn around here? Mexico, it's fine. It's perfectly allowed. Creative trucking, exactly. Jules, did Dole like his hat? Dole loves his hat. You can tell by the facial expression he had. I'm getting nothing for this drive. Not even a runner-up prize or a badge or a cake. What? Broken, broken roadage round here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bone. Who said ATS is boring and what mod call again? Uh, do you mean the truck mod, McBone? T800. It's in the spreadsheet. Me and the map. Viva Mexico and Mexico Extreme. That makes a whole lot of sense. What do you prefer? A Euro truck or American truck? Yes. It does say 3.6 MPG, yeah. Nope, I have not tried to test the truck mod. I have seen it. Get out of this town. Let's get out of Durango. Frames! Uh, apple pie. Five months to go. To four years. Keep on trucking. Thank you, Apple. Is Wyland in chat? I want to ask him a question. Thanks. Yeah, I want to see if White wants to do an ASMR stream. <laughs> He's not in. <laughs> Scumbag dedication or what, eh? I remember the days when White used to sit and watch the whole stream. I remember those days. 
now he just pops in. <laughs> whenever, it, whenever it suits him. When Whiteland comes in, guys, let's ask him some. Let's ask him some questions about the stream. Let's do like a quiz, like a trucking quiz. Like, so Whiteland, what did you think of? Um, what do you think of Squirrel when he uh, failed to stop at the checkpoint? <laughs> You'd be like, what? <laughs> exactly, how dare people have IRL? It's just not on. It's outrageous. Yeah, exactly. He treats the stream like a hotel. Just rocks up whenever he feels like it. Leaves his rubbish in the place. He's like one of those people in bus sim. Just turns up, leaves his coffee cups everywhere. Doesn't pay. Just wanders off. <laughs> watch him appear now and be like, what? <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's... Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> and then a and then a wild Whiteland appeared, as if by magic. Whiteland, I've got two questions for you, mate. Number one, have you heard from Apple Stan at all? And number two. What did you think of me failing to, to stop at the checkpoint? Your cap is slightly tilted to the side, it's really bugging me. What do you, what do you mean, what do you mean what checkpoint, Whiteland? You was here. You, you was here watching, right? Three delight swimming. <laughs> it's people with OCD at home now really having a hard time watching me. Oh, and the other, yeah, White. And there's a third question. Do you do a do you do ASMR? Seriously, have you heard from Applestan at all? I've not heard from him for a while. My cap is really is really annoying you. One sec. over my face what your cherry blue max is doing super good perfect for ASMR oh, I'm not doing the brim backwards thing Tron that's that's what hipsters do this is a hill climb Mazatlan, that's where we're going. Mazatlan. You thought I was a hipster? <laughs> what, me? A hipster? You're not in a Fortnite stream now. You're not sitting out for some time. Do I need to call him? No, no, no. I just wondered if he's okay. I know he's, like, probably working and stuff, but, like, he doesn't he doesn't check in on Discord. He doesn't check in on the stream for a while. Just want to know he's all right, that's all. Or rather, Rennie Drock, as he likes to call himself. Uh, is this? 
going on here then? Oh, they've gone a different way, okay. How many miles do we get there? 1,640. What's Discord? Chaos? It's where the nutters hang out. It's where the it's where the subs hang out. When the stream's not live. In before Applestone rocks up and all right. Up some ground now. Um, longest Sunday night trucking journey ever. We, we have done like 2,000 plus mile journeys before. I can't remember what's the longest though. Wow, traffic lights. You kidding? Hey, Rodolf. Doverkin, good night. You remember a 2700 mile one? I don't remember it. CSJ, how you doing? Take the Libra route next time, I'm sure it's more challenging to drive through. Did you see the the quarry we just came out of? <laughs> Did you actually see that? It isn't funny, please sort your cab. Well Now you've actually asked me in a very nice way. You know, with manners and all that, I'll be tempted to sort it out. How's that? That good? You're doing great. Happy Friday. Uh, happy for your Friday. It's your birthday. Have a have a great birthday on Friday, sir. We will, of course, be streaming, but I expect you'll be doing IRL stuff. Wait, which way are we going? Oh, so we should have gone that way. That would have been way more fun. That road to nowhere. <laughs> IRL as an ASMR, if you like. I can't read it, Lupo. It's gone. It's gone off my screen. Flying planes in P3D. Noise. Auto here somewhere. Um, Trent Hunter. Uh, good night. If you're going. See, that's a good desktop wallpaper photo right there. You will see it soon, Hugo. Salt's power, welcome back. I wish you didn't have to work today, Navarine. Well, 
Some people's days off aren't always the weekend, are they? Some people have to work Sunday. Uh, can you remove your cap if I said please? James, that's like saying, if I asked you to take your t-shirt off and I say please, would you do it? Why, why would I do that, James? Would you put your hand in a fire if I said please, squirrel? If I ask nicely. Uh, Viva Mexico or Mexico Extreme, Sean. Funnily enough, the crazy stuff is Mexico Extreme. Exactly. I did take it off once. You saw, you saw my afro. You know? No. I'm not taking it off on a five. I, I drive with my t-shirt on and my cap on and my headphones on and that's how we roll. That's it. End of story. It's very, very... It's, I've told you before, it takes me a long time to put my cap on before I stream. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to get the afro into this cap. And if I take the cap off, I'm going to have to spend 10 minutes putting it back in. I'm not doing it. Well, how do you know, Nendez, if I've got trousers on or not? I could be driving in swimming trunks right now, couldn't I? I could have swimming trunks on and flippers, and you wouldn't know. It might just be my thing when I truck. You've seen my driving, it would explain a few things. The of the cap at the jaunty angle. It was it was making some people very stressed, this old door. Do I like swimming? Of course I like swimming. Why else would I be wearing flippers? Changing gears is hard with the flipper. You get used to it, fun. You just use your heel mostly. It's all about the heel action. Yeah, the hill starts are a problem. You need a new emote. A troll emote. We don't have any more emote space. Oh, yeah, yeah. B Saber, thank you for a thousand bits, sir. I bought some Yorkshire tea uh, at the grocery store today. And I was wondering, what are some tips on making a proper cup of tea? Don't make me do this again, B Saber. Come on, man. Everybody in chat knows. I swear everybody in chat knows how to make a good cup of tea. It's... I've so explained this one. Welcome back, Sneaky Ninja. I do, I need a tea command. We're gonna have to have a tea command. Like how to make tea. Uh, let's see, Basil Brush has got some of it though. It starts off, what does it start off with guys? Let's do this step by step. Mods, we need a command for this, all right? But let's, let's start this off step by step. The bee saber. Number one, what do we need? No, it's not a mug. No, go, go back further than that. Go back further than that, what do we need? We don't we don't start with the mug. What do we start with? Hot water, no. No, F further back. Come on, come on. Keep going backwards. Before you've put... No. Filtered water, there it is. John E. Filtered water. Number one, filter the water. Very important. If you want to have a true tea taste, you have to filter the water. Otherwise, it can taste disgusting, depending on where you live. So filter the water. 
Number two, pour the filtered water into the kettle. Number three, get the mug or the cup, whatever you're going to have this in, right? Number four, boil the kettle to 90 Celsius. Number five, pour some of the hot water into your cup. About that much will do, about a centimetre. Swirl it round, warm the cup up and clean it, throw it away. Number five, put the tea bag in the cup and pour the 90 Celsius water on top of the tea bag. Stir a little. 10, 20 seconds of stirring and leave for no more than about two minutes. Remove the tea bag. Do not squash the tea bag on the side of the cup. You can squeeze it gently just to get rid of the excess water, but don't be one of those people that squeezes the tea bag and brings all the horrible ganky juice out of the bag into the tea. Don't do that. Just squeeze it gently. Remove the tea bag. Finally, add milk and or sugar to taste. Personally, I have a bit of milk. I don't like sugar in tea, but that's up to you. Now you have a good cup of tea. Make a command out of that, please. <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> Sneaky Ninja, thank you for two months. Figured I would help towards getting more emote slots. Thank you very much, sir. Svardmaster, soon TM22. And Jules, 200 bits, you should have slipper cam back. Uh, I'm working on something, Jules. I'm working on something. Hey, I got asked how to make tea. I had to answer. Somebody can write those instructions down. Write the instructions down, put it in a paste bin, and let's have a command that links to it. Oh, yeah, we can get a flipper cam now, Dr. D. <laughs> flipper cam, brilliant. If we ever do uh, cooking with squirrel, I'll show you how to make it. I need to talk a little faster. Twitch can't be more than 60 seconds. Just splice it. Take out the bore a bit. Do we need to add the hand gestures to the paste bin? Oh, yes. It's, in it's important, Hendo. Be easy to do a video on YouTube. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine me posting a video like that? I'd have to put it on Squirrel Plus, because if I posted it on my main channel, like, all the people on the main channel who don't watch Twitch, they'd be like, what the heck is this? Fourteen hundred and sixty-eight. We are more than 25% done. We've already done ASMR with Squirrel Falcons. We did that before. You pay money to see the reactions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. You post a video about how to make a cup of tea, and like 50 of the comments would be, When's my summer car? That's a true goal to get in 5k viewers. No, it has to be Fortnite. It's to be Fortnite. It's the only way. I've been told. Uh, how much fuel I've got? The right hand side of my wheel, the, the upper dial, is the fuel gauge. How to prevent toast from getting moist? Well, I'd have to show that, really. That, that's cooking with scroll, that is. Please don't fight Fortnite. Dude, oh, I want 5k viewers, come on. I'll do anything to get 5k viewers. If I have to play Fortnite in a low cut top and tight shorts, that's what I've got to do. Kitchen plans, Wyland. I've been looking at fridges. We sorted out what units we want. We've sorted out the worktop. I need to order um, hob. I know that I want an induction hob. Want to, Mrs. Squirrel wants a double oven, and I know what fridge I'm looking at. Um, 
not picked the tiles yet. So yeah, he's already booked in. He's booked in first two weeks of September. It's already booked, just a matter of the details. And then the third week of September is the bathroom. It's more likely 5,000 trolls. 5,000 trolls with money to burn. Yeah, it's, like, it's all about the uh, all about the dollar. The promise of Snapchat. Now taking boyfriend applications. Uh, Mr. Purple Hayes, thank you for 39 months. Fridge has got an ice maker. Sadly, I can't make that work, Iceland. Uh, Whiteland. Basically, the gap where the fridge is going to go is about 84 centimeters wide. And the only fridges that make ice generally are like the double width ones that are about 90 centimeters oh, wide. Yeah, yeah. And with a 90 centimeter wide fridge, you need about 96 centimeter gap. So that when you open the door, um, the ones I'm looking at are like 80 centimeters, which is the widest I can get that fits in the gap. They come with a, a chill chilled um, water but they don't come with ice cube maker be safe but that does help thank you squirt you're welcome oh, sir yeah, yeah. mcbone they will say not a what better dime bar armadillo hard on the outside soft on the inside the last time the last time i had a dime bar mcbone and I say this because I'm never going to eat one again. The last time I had a dime bar, I bit into it. Rip that guy. I bit into it, chewed, and then it removed an entire filling from my tooth. You got a 70 centimeter fridge. So most fridges are 60 centimeters wide. You can get 70, you can get 80, and you can get 90. 90 is a double fridge. bars are amazingly good at removing fillings. Because it's like hard caramel, it's stuck to the filling and just ripped it out. And that cost me uh, about 150 quid to fix. <laughs> so no thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mini fridges are rubbish, Connor. They're, they're actually rubbish mini fridges. They're inefficient and they don't cool very well. Uh, eat, twitch, sleep and repeat with 200 bits. Uh, probably a bad idea, but also need to specify in your tea command the way to stir the tea. Sorry in advance. <laughs> We're getting detailed here. Ouch. Didn't see any other vehicle go through that bump. Got a Bosch one who bought the fridge one and a half years ago, very efficient. Yeah, it tells you the efficiency rating on all the fridges now. They tell you the capacity of the fridge, the capacity of the freezer, and the energy efficiency rating, and approximately how much it will cost you to run per year. It's all on the label. I have no idea when Doyle's coming on, Rowan. You know, you know how this works. Lord Doyle rocks up whenever he feels like it. Uh, let's see. Destination expected Friday... Friday Pacific time down to late evening. Current ETA Friday 2 a.m. Mountain time, which is what 1 a.m. Pacific time. Dol might be asleep. Dol usually is. Friday 
goddamn real life law. <laughs> Might as well be. Uh, Guy Joku, have a good one, mate. Being overtaken by trucks. What's the speed limit here? No idea what the speed limit is, but if he's overtaking me. Well, that's what I did. I did take an hour off mountain time. It's exactly what I did. Uh, truck is a T800 Kenworth. In the mod spreadsheet. Oh, and then a wild Renico appears. Jack's still a mod here. Which, which Jack? Captain Jack? No. He's a forum admin, Discord admin, and general game organizer person. It's almost like Whiteland summoned him. Mr. Renico, otherwise known as Applestan. Oh, speak of the devil, Lord Dawn the Shy just made an appearance. Let's just pause that. Hi, Dolly. Let me just unlock my wheel. Oh, I feel like I'm sticking to the seat. Yeah, you say that, but I'm boiling hot. There he is. Lord Doyle of the Shire. Hey, how you doing? People are asking about you, and I said, you just turn up when you want to, don't you, pal? <laughs> Doesn't have a set schedule. Uh, Andy, 42 months catching up on your bus sim streams and join it as IRL bus driver. I cashed in no less than six 20 pound notes yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All were low value fares. Keep up the good work, dude. <laughs> that must be really annoying when that happens. Jill says hello, Mrs. Squirrel. <coughs> and Doyle. Show Mrs. Squirrel your flippers. Lol. <laughs> flippers? Well, they don't believe me that I'm wearing oh, flippers yeah, when I drive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troller, good evening to you all equally in the Squirrel Studio. Hey, Globetroller. Don't want to ASMR. Proof or it's fake? What? You don't ever wear any footwear whilst driving, both game and IRL. Wow. Driving in your socks. Can I have the paw trigger? What does that mean, Connor? This is this is Doyle ASMR right here. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> hey guys, sub for more Doyle ASMR. There you go, pal. You enjoy your schmackos. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> so you'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. High five. There you go. On your pause door. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Battery hates for dolls, ASMR, more schmackers. Lol. 
<laughs> your two-year-old son goes nuts when he sees Doyle. <laughs> Look at that. All right, Mr. Frosty, good night. Sat too far away. The yeah. Vanquish, thirty one months. It's been how long? So, Mr. Um, Mr. Applestan, how's the uh, how's the snow plowing thing going? Whatever it is you're doing now, truck driving, snow plowing thing. Atlantic. Thank you for subbing Atlantic. Welcome to the Nut House. Thank you for the nutty welcome. Good evening, molasses. Scenery. Uh, did you ever get the blast of a party at the old sawmill? <laughs> we went to the old sawmill. We actually ran up there on the stream. Place is shut. Thank you, Trond. Good night, Lakes Technology. I don't it might have been I don't know where the old one is then you had the band was sleepwalking at the old sawmill yeah they were how Stefan anyway does anybody know anybody heard from him 1200 miles we got this Which do you prefer, left or right hand driving? I, I honestly, I, I don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't care. I suppose... I spent a lot longer driving... Sat on the right, driving in the left lane. So that's probably more natural. Speeding offence. It's 50. 50?! Are you serious? I'm doing 55. But that's... It's like somebody that... It's like somebody that uh, has their native language and then they've learned another language. Like, one's going to feel more natural, I guess, but they can do both. It's like that. But Josh, thank you for the host. Apparently, Whiteland, yeah, $500 for going five miles an hour over the limit. And then the speed limit route goes away again. That's ridiculous. Oh, 
corrupt round here. Yes, sir, it's a, it's a minimum $500 fine. But I'm only going five miles an hour under me. It's $500. Sneaking injured, they do indeed. 10% at least margin. They generally pull people over that are obviously speeding. What do you mean, how are you doing? Is my car a manual? No. It's a semi automatic. So you can put it in full automatic or you can use the paddle shift.